comfort for him. Something he terrorized the league in his first split on. And Shaoshu, the answer is the Cassante. Okay, so um, we were assuming that Renekton would be towards the top side. This team for RA. Now, speaking of RA, they're starting up the Grubs. So, Telegrubbies Episode 1 being watched <laughs> by Rare Adam. Meanwhile, Dragon taken by Invictus Gaming. Yeah, so we are getting a bit of a split between the early objectives. Vampire's oh. taking He has no flash. Vampire's just Vampire's gonna die here. Oh, so no! so much trouble right now, and that is easy pickup for Vikla. And RA moved to get both early objectives now. You just can't stand there as they flash this. The they do not know that he's hovering there, but Dragon's already going super low. Pyroclasm is available if he wants to get in there and cause some problems. He'll be smoked that away. is certainly a helping hand from Assume with that arrow. Aces on the arrow there from Assume. And if he keeps doing that, I mean, he'll have a massive impact in this game. Assume so steps up, speaking of, get a bullet time straight to the face. Zahn wants to represent with a little bit of pressure from his own right. We do have movement, though, from both supports out onto the map. Vikla, oh, no up. mana, in trouble. Tempered Fate, not in time. And Nani picks up the kill. A little bit of revenge there. Poor spacing from Vikla. You do not need to get that close. Nani didn't even have to blow his flash. That tells you how poorly Vikla positioned in that mid lane. Was ahead of that match, if you expect that to be the case. This is now going to open up the grubs on the top side for the side of IG. Might see Ari go up anyway. Xiaohao wants to, wants to move over on JLFS. He does not have a lot of health here. He's going to be double stunned up. Now the Pyroclasm coming up big here. Xiaohao goes in for the kill. Grubs are still fighting, and Grubs are being taken by RA. Let purple be with you, I guess. As a double Cosmic Binding on Tunani, he will slice and dice his way out of there. There's the Cullen coming up right now. Vikla might go for it. And this oh, is the Bard Magical Journey. Vikla's back, and he tried to get a little bit of his own. Now calling into YS Cam will not find its target, but the Enchanted Crystal Arrow was also used by Assume in the end. Yeah, Vikla kind of starts off the... By not a little bit more than two there. Brock was in a bit of trouble in the end, and IG were trying to get test. They did get the one grub, but that will be five completed for RA. So something to think about after fights. Now IG are looking for play in the uh, blue side jungle there, but maybe even looking laps over on it. Oh, we have the one no, no, YSKM. He's in a lot of trouble as Joy has made his way over and he's just down under turret. Yeah, really well played for Shaoshi. Greedy from by a scam. The all out uh, um, GLFS and um, Vampire were. Because Vampire with that Mark Ultimate and, of course, Brand being Brand, uh, you don't necessarily <laughs> want to be stuck around and over engaging into that. We were saying this yesterday. Sometimes it doesn't matter whether Brand is ahead or behind. Brand is still Brand. Yep. They will still do a million damage, which is very, very scary. Um, does mean that RA will still get themselves that bot side turret. Nani, um, yes, I think this guy has given up a lot for himself on an individual level. Arrow's going top Here side, go. it's gonna hit. It is gonna hit right on the YSKM. Oh, again? And there's the Rift Herald charge on the Shaoshu to knock him up. Tempered Fate goes in at the perfect timing, I believe. Oh, the Flash actually comes out from GLFS, did not want to get all outed there. Rift Herald's still alive, On has come over. Big combo still available, Power Classroom has been used. Hook shot out and back in. Hextech Ultimatum is going to guarantee the kill there in the end with On helping Dway now in trouble with the double kill going to YSKM. There is the lead you were looking for. Turret goes down, Lilting Lullaby onto three. TP coming in, now this is Nani joining the fight. Xiaohao and Vickler are gonna be able to clean up one. Now Assume coming around the edge. He's all by himself, but he wants to stop the backs coming through. Vickler gonna step up, but RA realized they do do not need to overextend and IG make a play back. Yeah, IG, they still get themselves two kills. They get themselves that top lane out of turret at the same time. So they get a lot out of that play. Vickler is alone in this top side, but he's far enough away from this brush. Dominus coming up in a few seconds. Then he might look for a play, but it's quite no hard to get himself onto that Lucian. GLFS is behind. Double TPs. We're coming back for round two in the top lane. Oh, no. Why is Cam's Cam. in a lot of trouble. All out still available for Shaoshu. He's going to try to body block him. There it is. Stopping the hook shot once again. Shaoshu is on top of it today. So many times it feels like Camille gets out of those plays, but Shaoshu, he just waits a little bit, waits until the hookshot connects to the wall again, and all out wire scam into the dirt. Just when IG get themselves a side lane winning play, they can't capitalize. Now RA have the numbers on top set to try and even up the turrets taken. Your face coming back up, magical journey over the wall, turret going down. That'll be another one, and he steps up. As uh, now Tempered Fate right back to stop them up here. Not much mana for Vikla. He's stepping up though to get some damage. And it doesn't matter because Xiaohao is doing work. Xiaoshu stepping up too. 
There's a lot of damage come back from GLFS. He's so close to the Pyroplasm, but it's not going to be enough because his team is wiped in front of his very eyes. Another Renekton. What? He's still got that laning phase versus that Renekton. He's still getting to a huge amount of items. He is so far ahead. He is a full level up. He is, you know, a ridiculous amount of CS up too. He is ready to take over this game. Oh, we're seeing it. Master Curse for Mel oh! as the Croc is coming down and Chance Crystal Arrow coming across. Vikla is still alive. He's still kicking. Nani can't get him. And Shaohao gets the kill on the other side of it as two bodies fall for IG. What? That's right to the dragon for RA. It, it's just a support tip. Joy with the heal, with the redemption, with the ult, bails out the side lane. This bard game has been absolutely spectacular from Joy and IG. They don't have the tools to stop it. They let him get out of lane. They let him. They are very, very important for how they play out the game. What are we seeing with replay? There's an arrow. Where did the arrow go? What happened to the arrow? It is. Okay, cool. right. Oh, but Journey they're getting like... somebody else. It's on in trouble now. Vampire going to try to body block, but he cannot body block the bird from Xiao Hao. That will also be the tempered fate used to block off the that, that's, that's, that's a little bit of that's a bit of a Britishism. All right, you can, cool. you can have that I'm learning. You learn that today. You learn something new every day. That's what I always say. Uh, GLFS has made his sneaky little self down into this bot side. Alco get a flash there onto Shao Shu. Now they're gonna punish him for all of his transgressions earlier. And GLFS picks that one up. They go for the turret as well and gonna block that TP. Never so gonna miss because the thing is, IG already point where. Um, they are 4,000 gold down, verging on 5,000 gold. That is a lot, but they can still kill the entire enemy team with a good enough combo. It's hard to do that because they haven't necessarily got themselves control of the map, and they've just given over um, the Kensex Soul. Worth big win for them. Wirescape is in bot lane. They want to get his globals. We can't play the side lanes. He's going to go ahead and initiate the back. The bear is already going down. RA going to pull the TP. That's a deep one from Xiaoshu. They're going to collapse on a wise cam, but he is the Camille. Nature of Grasp hits on three. That will be well, exactly what RA push. wanted. They're going to Lilty Lullaby, Wise Cam now. They're chasing him down. They've got so much speed. The calling on top of it, Temper Fate, going to catch out on the side. CLFS, he's going to pop the Power Plasm. He's doing a lot of damage on the back line. Look at that. But he isn't going to be enough, and he goes down. Jungler down might just mean these objectives go straight to RA. Yeah, and Rare Atom burn through IG. They tried to get that global out of Wise Cam, but they did, and then they find themselves the pick afterwards. No smite, no ability to contest this objective. And though IG were maybe looking for that big combo around this, they just haven't been able to control the map well enough to buy them, earn themselves that big opportunity for an ultimate. They gotta get in there and do something on. Oh, might get a bullet time combo. He doesn't get the Baron, and it goes over to RA, joining their purple form. They have transcended as the Vampire Power goes in. Why is Cam trying to execute Jway? He gets all out and out of the fight now, though. Vikla stepping up with a da -da 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 double kill as IG are eviscerated off of Summoner's Rift. Everybody's going to be gone. And GLFS just spawns to watch the bodies of his teammates. Rare Adam have been so good at using this early game map control, just never letting up from it. Normally, Camille is the person running the game at this point. It's been so hard for OSGM to play towards one of his comfort picks, though. GLFS has Flash, might be forced to use Surrounded it. Surrounded by enemies on all sides. He's trying to fight his way out, but he can't do it. One more shot. Xiao Hao goes golden to save his <laughs> life, and a team of thumbs up gives him the okay. 10 stacks on the Dark Seal, 7, 0, and 6. The Lilia has come to play as well. Such a magnificent game coming out from the jungle support from RA. After a series which was really quite painful for them versus Ultra Prime, they were largely shut out of the game. They couldn't find themselves this big combo. They often lost those games very early on, and it feels like now RA, after winning one of those early games, unlocking their playmaking tools, the game has become that much easier for the rest of his team and just tried to survive. He's down set almost 7,000 gold individually now. IG, yeah. they've lost that mid lane matchup, to say the least. They haven't bought oh. themselves that big ultimate <laughs> combo yet either. PA, everybody gets one, I guess. Uh, Dwey could have give his life for that one as well. Culling gets used. Nice little combos there as Pyroclasm is going to wreak havoc onto Vikla. The turret is going to go down though and Shaoshu has found an entrance. And honestly, it's been a holistic effort from RA. We talked so Earned much about... themselves that position to get themselves that one ball combo. They haven't done that this game yet. Well, if there's a time to do it, the time is nigh. Because that clock is ticking down to midnight. And it might be the doomsday variety. Why is KM is in a lot of trouble there? Does use a little bit of the exit with the blast cone now. Back into it, Nani. Having a flank could be huge. He has the empowered blast cone. Here comes Nature's Grasp. Wise came on the other flank. Nani 
waiting to go in. The nature of grass being down is very big, but Vikla getting chunked pretty heavily. They will spot out Manny on the side now as well. Pyroclasm is key. Bullet time is key. Elder Dragon might be the focus now. Swirlsea goes a little bit wide now as well. Look at the Blast card. Look at Nani. He's on the Blast card. He doesn't have Flash. It's hard for him to get into the play. That uh, Bard is also getting some healing from those healing shrines as well. Oh. about half HP. Here goes Nani. Dominus. They got the Power Plasm in there too. Bullet time stopped up on. Gets all of the damage put onto him now as well. But it's RA getting fought back. It's the Elder Dragon though going the way of our air Adam. And they've just combined Adams into Fusion. And it's IG that pay the price for it. You're right, Ra. They combine into something greater, and the energy that comes from that just blasts Invictus Gaming. Even though IG had a good start to that fight, they could not end things off. The Elder goes down and pop, pop, pop. Xiao Hao ends the game deathless and absolutely massacring through the team fight. This is the Ra that was just so close to being in Group Ascend. Pick up for Ra will be the Poppy. Oh, so is this going to be Poppy support, or is this going to be... This has to be the Camille top lane, right? You don't want to be playing the pop lane more effectively than the Maokai, which is not really there for the laning phase. Um, this should hopefully unlock Arn, because Arn has been IG's most important player. Full stop. He has been so, so important for them. If he can get himself a better laning phase, that might open up a Nene. mission. Nani! Nani! Oh, no! Vickla with the outplay and the solo bolo for RA to kick it off. Doesn't need any help oh, this no. time at Zoom Core. Oh no, he's got the satchel charge. It's immediately traded back and then also get the kill back. And uh, I think that's really Thank big because has to use the flash for it, but still gets himself onto the board. And now he's going to leverage off of this bot lane, getting pushed in the way that we kind of expected it to, to get himself early dragon as well. It's going to be 40 seconds until the grub spawn, so it's not like Ari have an immediate response. Xiaohao is going to level up, though, on GLFS and might be ready to fight. Smite going to go through. GLFS claiming the dragon. Tway in a lot of trouble. Going to flash away. Assume in trouble, too. They go right back in. Ari trying to fight their way. Xiaohao claiming and helping, at least, assume claim one. On is going to be the primary damage dealer right here. He's going to flash. Away, assume getting away with the satchel charge and the flash. Everything going to be used on bot side. As kill goes both ways. Seen yet there is a ward there by Xiao Shu that will end up spotting out GLFS. Thing will clear that one though. Back looks like it's going to be completed by Xiao Hao. Level sixes are important though. Oh, Vic was looking for another play in the mid lane. He is consistently pressuring okay. now and he's starting to get ahead. Folks, it's a big problem. Oh, oh, oh he's taking turret. And he's just fine. Again, you said, cool guys. They don't look at explosions. Drill here for both sides. Tway will have the Keeper's Verdict to make a big difference around these objectives. And speaking of, the Grubbies have spawned. RA wanting to deny Grub again. We'll start it up. So there's no misfortune here just yet. Vampire is level 6, can start off the combo, and it's bad terrain for RA. They are pinned into the pit. They do have flashes, though. They might need to use them. Why is yeah, coming on the point? Why Stan on the flank here? Big hex deck ultimatum and so much damage. He's stuck though because the keeper's burning can't deny the hex deck ultimatum. As now Jway is gonna be burned down by Nani, who gets a double kill for IG. Well, all right. We said, hey, maybe you don't want to be stuck against this terrain. They don't get the memo. They're gonna get right now. Why Stan um, has himself a significant um, uh, XP lead, and it does feel like Shaoshu blind picking this Camille might have been a bit bold into <laughs> that player. Oh, Wait, what are you doing, speaking Dway? of bold, boldly go where no man has gone before and straight into the death screen. Yeah, um, he's going to be fighting some new and fantastic experiences with that one. Now we have oh, to be able to go against Vampire. That's really big. The bullet time over top of it in there, and there's the combo that IG can pull off. There's the cease and assist as well on top of it. Chow Hao trying to get into the fight. They do take down GLFS, though, as well. And Vikla still picking up gold on the back end of a lot of these fights. Yeah, but while Scam is alone in top side, he's going to get himself a full turret. Remember that he has the five grubs on his side, so IG really winning out on the I think macro. they understand that they don't have their items in the place where they need them right now. If they get themselves the two items, maybe that will change. Why is Cam going to get dope? This is a Gwen. They're TP. Oh, that's double TP. One from each team. Now, why is Cam tanking up a storm? He's going to flash out Vikla going for the kills. He doesn't get it. Oh, he finally does. He's traded immediately returning. Now, Vampire, he has the angle. Maybe this is where Nani can pick up all the kills, but the Solar Flare can be flashed out. Oh, on. He's got the deepest of flanks. The team started backing off on this one. On has bullet time. There's the Keeper's Verdict used to get him out. 
What is happening with RA at these picks? Jway ends up like punting the slept Gwen to stop the damage coming through, which means the kill comes through on the Vickler instead. The combo's just not clean, and IG, they it's respond worse. quick. You can't have him at his best. All right, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, his best was last game. And a really, really rough time this game. Now, they are going to make a move on bot side. They have GLFS right behind them, though. This is going to turn into a 2v2, and YSKM loves that. Cease and assist into the needle work, and that's easy pickings for IG. Shao Shu into the 1v2 on bot side now. Dre on top side, and you can even see now at this point, Vickler trying to walk forward. So oh, that's the culling, the flash, the the culling here. straight to the dome. Now, Nani, he doesn't have the angle to dash forward, and Vickler picks it up, but the turret shot, it's another trade back. Now we get some supportal combat here, but on will make the difference in this one. There you go, the slowdown as well, and Dre will be easy pickings for on picking up his third kill of the game. Yeah, such a better game from IG in this yeah. one. Shao has no HP, he doesn't have a flash, he can't get into the pit even if he did stick around. IG, they don't get the kills, but they get themselves what they want, which is uh, the ability to stop RA from stealing this Baron. RA, they're watching it go down, but realistically, they can't really look for anything else. There's a lot of poke here, but yeah, the Baron goes down, they will just... Mid lane turret, that would be nice for them to get, and they should be able to get it. So that's one tower back, and they got the satchel onto that to get it into execute range. That's something. Trying to push seconds. out mid lane to have first move there. Wise Cam is already in the pit, hasn't been spotted out yet. Turret is the focus right now with all those grubs. They did have the five for IG, makes it easy. Now Shafu going all the way in on a Wise Cam, big solar flare back, Vampire going in, denied by the steadfast presence. Bullet time, not really gonna do much, but they've already taken out Shaoshu, so now it's a 4v5. You can step forward as IG onto the dragon. This is Soul. remember RA, do not wanna give this one up. This could be a game-defining fight as Vampire is going to move forward for the engage there. They do have the steadfast presence, but it's not enough. Now, Xiao he could clean these up on a Vampire, but it's the rest of the fight you got to be careful of. Vikla stepping up at the moment, and it's going to be RA securing the dragon and buying themselves what? that time huh? they desperately needed. Hang on, how did RA win that one? The engage was stopped by the steadfast presence. Finally, we get value out of the poppy. The Vi and the That's a lifeline there. At least another five minutes spot, but IG not going to stay on their haunches here as they move forward. They will take a tier two in bottom side. The Baron will be a positive play now after they take that one down. Now they're looking at another tier two here in mid two. Yes, they are going to get some gold out of it. It's not sadly going to match the, the jungle ult. from this top side too. And it's okay that you use the ultimates there from RA because there's no objectives to be put up just yet. You do have the hex flash from Dway. Oh, it's something you can wall stun. You forgot about Dway, baby. He's back in there. Is it going to be enough? A bullet time gets stopped by the Lilting Lullaby and YSKM. He's making quick work with the needlework here. As now RA actually have a bit of a fight on the back end of this one. YSKM getting brought down. Shouts to out of this? nowhere. And I'm telling you, man, they just make magic out of Nothing! Xiao Hao's Lilia is absolutely extraordinary. Dre gets the wall stun and gets the pop up. Xiao Hao has the Zonyas, and RA, from being so far down, have just snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. They'll at least get an in -hip. Can they get more? I'm gonna need a hot they single a released by Dwe here, and they could just absolutely push this one down. It's so quick, and there's still death timers on the side of IG. There's no way that RA just one fell swooped them. The desperation, you can smell it from IG, but RA, they can only get the two Nexus turrets, and now IG. We'll see, actually, they... whether it's gonna be the dragon as well. There's no teleport from Shaoshu. RA, by not finishing the game, might have put themselves into a very, very difficult map state beyond this point, IG. They're going to choose to go towards the Baron instead of going towards the Dragon. They do have oh, that open. Boy. Man, what an entrance. And now, RA off the back of that one is going to deny yet another of these Dragons unless GLFS wants to just go ahead and go for the 50-50, but denied that factor. It'll be two setting oh, just in case shoot. topside. They were looking for yeah. it. They wanted <laughs> they to were. go around. All right, all right. I all right. like it. So the fear of that now is opened up. Um, RA into the spot side. Oh. River Shao has caught though. It's not quite enough. It's not quite close enough. Shao Hao can start healing through that passive, get those that honey fruit as well. The fact that RA was threatening that angle onto the base. Oh, that's the full CC combo, and it did guarantee that kill this time onto Dwe. So he will not be there to separate a lot of this fight. And IG loved that for themselves. Shao Hao still a big factor. Lilty Lullaby gonna be used there. They want to go in onto YSKM over there. Oh, oh my oh. god! 
What the hell, man? That's just not fair. That's what your carry's gone. Now RA, they They're have going... the inside track on mid lane. They don't need to kill turrets. They just need to kill the inhib if they want to. There's a teleport back into the base, so this will be inhib and out. But RA, they know they don't need minions because there are no turrets to disable that back door. They get the carry down. Too many ultimates were used onto the poppy. And RA, they are out executing currently in this late game. They get themselves back into this bot side river now, and they have themselves the better positioning around this objective. You can feel the tension, the fear for IG in these moments. RA starting up the dragon. Do they deny it for a third time? Or is this where GLFS stands and says no? Is he the turning end. into Griffith? No, he's still GLFS. And Xiao Hao has secured that one. They were looking for a side play with Vicla and Xiao Shu, but not going to do it. IG have retreated. Wait. Tails between their legs as Baron is up and RA are moving to it. Hang on. I think the poppy ult might have just stopped them from ending the game because the poppy ult <laughs> sent those members closer to the base. RA, they were looking for the game ending play. Shashu is on a flank. He is level 16. IG, they're walking into enemy vision. Desperation is nigh. GLFS knows that bullet time combo, but Shao Hao buys so much time. Why is Cam on the other side? He's going down now, though. It's going to be the big trades. Vicla can't go down either. Now Mega Inferno Bomb separating, but Shao Shashu has been going for the end. This is what we knew the entire time. And RA, they finish the game! And they're gonna take a 2-0 over IG! What a-